TechPlot360 now makes drawing of no-slip stream traces easy by automatically detecting a no-slip boundary, a surface with zero velocity, and TechPlot360 will then find the volume zone that neighbors the boundary and use velocity gradients to calculate stream traces on the surface. The dataset we are using here is the Onera M6 wing included in the TechPlot360 installation. As you can see, there are no values for our momentum vector variables as we probe along the wing surface. However, if we add a slice, we can see that in the fluid volume and within the boundary layer, there are non-zero momentum values. To place a surface restricted stream trace on a no-slip surface, first open the stream trace details dialog and be sure to change the format to surface line. We can then seed stream traces along the wing surface even though the vector values for the surface are all zero. This is because TechPlot360 has identified the no-slip condition and is using the non-zero velocity values from the neighboring volume zone. Notice that the stream traces appear to intersect the slice above the wing surface and don't appear to be on the surface. This is because TechPlot360 uses lift fractions for certain elements to help make coincident objects visible. You can adjust the line lift fraction in the Plot Advanced 3D Control dialog to resolve this. A value of zero will cause the arrowheads to be buried in the surface, so a small non-zero value may be preferred. This capability also works with structured datasets, where the surface is defined by, for example, the J equals 1 plane. Here, we have a structured result of the Onera M6 wing, where the J equals 1 plane of the second and third zones define the surface. Like the unstructured case, we have zero velocity on this surface. When we place surface-restricted stream traces on this surface, the velocity values from the J equals 2 plane will be used. Additionally, TechPlot360 will take value blanking into account when surveying the zone for a no-slip condition. This is especially important for users of overset methods and that blank data using the iBlank variable. This concludes the tutorial on no-slip stream traces. Thank you for watching.